My name is Angel Morales. Uh, I was raised in Massachusetts. I lived in a broke down motel. I had to witness my mom every single day getting abused. It got to the point that either we leave or she could have died. So we finally left and we came to Florida. For a year, you know, everything went well, it was smooth. I mean, my mom started working. You know, she wanted to be the best mother that she could be until she met a man. And the thing is, he came out of prison and she met him through prison. And I'm thinking, you know, for the first month when he came out, he came to live with us. Everything was good. You know, I, I didn't find anything wrong with it. I thought he was going to really take the place of my father because I never met my father either. And I was right for about a month until he started beating me. And I'm not like, when I say beating, I don't mean belt. I mean, he started beating me and it was an everyday thing. Like he would just, it was kind of like torture. And I mean, there's been so many times I tried to stand up for myself, but I was so weak. I was too small, I had no power. He always called me a loser, saying I would not become anything in life. So as time went by, the abuse started getting worse and I knew it was never gonna stop. And I remember we used to always have to steal out of Goodwill boxes because we never had that, we never had clothes. And I remember I had to go to school every single day, having to deal with being bullied because I, I couldn't afford anything. I couldn't get anything. Everything I had, everything I wore, too big, too small, too old, ripped up. And nobody ever was there. My mom saw it all, but she didn't try to stop it. Every time I would ask her, Ma, please leave him. She always said, we need the money. We can't go. And I always pray to God, and I used to always blame God for everything because it was getting to the point that I just wanted to kill myself. But eventually God answered my prayers and DCF came, took us all away, and I cried. Not the fact that we got taken away, the fact that he answered me. He saw me throughout my misery. And we went to live, we went, went to foster care. The only bad thing about it was I was separated from my brothers and sisters and I could never really see them. And I stopped seeing my mom during my whole time there because I remember the last visit I had with her, she blamed me for everything, which hurt me. So I had to live in foster care with the regret and guilt that I had because I felt like I was the cause of everything. I used to always have a bad attitude. I used to always fight. I used to always do things that I wasn't supposed to. Even for the people that were trying to help me, I just couldn't. I had to take therapy for a year and a half because it was so bad. And I felt so alone. Angel, you're my turnaround student. I kicked you out of the program last year. And tell me, what about the program help you out? This program helps me out because I can be able to go to school and be in a safe environment, be able to study more. I can be able to come to the Y and be able to study for a long period of time, be able to get my work done. Y'all offer meals that sometimes I can't receive at home. Y'all give me that safe environment that I'm not being judged, that I can get my work done, I can go home and come right back and get, you know, don't have to worry about it. Y'all got me from one point, the Y has got me from 1.9 to a 3.5 because I wanted it. Thank you, YMC, and all your donors and all your support for help making this possible. My story and all of our stories will not be told if it wasn't for you. Thank you.